about 20% of your patients will have dry eye and in that case they'll have a raised osmolarity. Um, when you are giving the patients treatment because you've diagnosed that they have evaporative dry eye meibomian gland dysfunction or aqueous deficiency, you want to monitor whether your treatments are successful. And so if you check the patient's osmolarity before you start treatment during diagnosis, you can actually monitor two or three months later that your treatment is becoming successful and the osmolarity readings are falling. If a patient has an osmolarity reading of between 300 and 307, that's normal. But the magic number to remember with tear osmolarity is 308 because that's when they start to be marginally dry eyed. So when you're measuring osmolarity, a patient with an osmolarity reading of up to 307 is wet or normal. 308 to about 320 is mild dry eye. 320 to up to 340 is moderate dry eye and over 340 is severe dry eye. Now this is very useful when you are trying to monitor whether your treatment is working because you should get a reading which goes down after successful treatment of whatever type of dry eye condition you diagnose and treat. Um, if the patient has either um, evaporative dry eye or meibomian gland dysfunction or aqueous dysfunction, you will find that the osmolarity is raised. So you just remove the appliance from the machine and you have to click it into position not touching the guard and then you remove the covering and then I'm going to measure the left eye as well. So I need you to blink for me please and I want you to look up and to the right. I'm just going to rest this onto your cheek. So I'm just going to pop this back and we'll see what reading this one is for the left eye. It's 318. With tear film osmolarity, you will find that if they have a higher reading and they do have dry eye, then the results will be more erratic. And this is the same when you have a patient with glaucoma uh, at the very early stages where their field loss comes and goes. And so it's quite noticeable with a normal wet-eyed patient, the osmolarity readings are very um, accurate, they don't vary but with um, a dry-eyed patient, you will get a variation in those readings. Um, the sensitivity and specificity of the osmolarity readings is very good though. When you're measuring osmolarity of contact lens patients, you actually get a slightly higher reading because the contact lens disrupts the tear film and breaks it up. And so you get a slightly higher osmolarity reading in contact lens wearers as opposed to non-contact lens wearers. The machine that we use to measure osmolarity is um, quite an inexpensive machine to buy and osmolarity is a very interesting subject and it does help in the armoury of assessing dry eye.